recycling. Recycling. Yeah, recycling and stuff. Alright, hey, I'm Ben Gill, and this is the behind the scenes for Recycling Adventures Episode 7, Marblehead. Hey, I'm Danny, and I'm here too. Yes, this is this is Danny. She's she's uh commentating with me. Yeah. She was in episode five. I don't know the one. No, episode three, the one where she spits, where Ryan spits an ice cube into her glass. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Right, okay. So this is this is the raw footage of us trying to work with a, with an animal. Um, as you can see, it's it's more difficult than it looks. I mean, this isn't Daisy's first acting gig, believe it or not. <laughs> she just would not cooperate. Finally, we, we had to reshoot this scene later um, with Tim throwing treats, and then she actually did a good job. Who's Tim? Oh, Tim's my brother. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> And then we had to put her on the green screen. So, uh, yeah. I had to try to get her to sit still in the middle of the green screen. And she, she didn't much like that either. <laughs> Stay. Nope. <laughs> She made this ridiculous meow every time you picked her up. Peace out. Which one do we use? Oh, I think it's this one. She's just like doing this weird squat. <laughs> we did a hair horrible job shooting this green screen stuff. We couldn't use key light or anything to key out the green screen because of all the shadows. Lesson learned. Look at him, he's a cat. So we basically that's just, the one. we had to match, um, yeah, that's the one we used. We had to match Daisy and him together as best as we could. Oh, it's restarting, no! Alright, so now, let's go into After Effects and show them how we made it. Right, Danny? Sure. Alright, so that. so this is After Effects, and this is a frame of the morph. Daisy's head is on Peter's body. So basically, we first, we had to pick the green screenshots. And this is the one of Daisy. Um, green is not a creative color. No, green is not a creative color. Alright, so here's, here's Daisy's green screen footage. And here's Peter's green screen footage. She just uh, kind of squats there, looks up slightly, and then Peter's is similar. It sort of looks up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the green screen footage. And, alright, so the morph, I found out how to do it via this creativecow.net. Um, tutorial, which which is from 2002, so it's a little outdated, but it worked pretty well. So he's transforming into a sheep. You see that? Look I that. wouldn't want to be a sheep. I don't know. I so uh, look at this After Effects. This is a pretty old version of After Effects, but the effect still works. Um, basically, you have to to create a mask around the entire thing, so you can't use the roto brush or any shortcuts. You have to rotoscope using only one single mask, which makes it a pain in the butt and then takes forever. What a pain in the tush. It's a ta pain in the tuchus. Pain in the tuchus. Pain in the poop. All right, so um, we rotoscope Daisy. Um, it's taking a little bit. Um. <laughs> uh, awkward. Um, okay, so there's this beautiful single mask rotoscope of Daisy before she, she of all the way to her morph. Gorgeous. Gorgeous rotoscope. Look at that. Wonderful. And I applied key light anyway just to get rid of the green um, spill. 
Peter and Daisy are friends now. Okay, so let's look at the the morph comps. All right, here's here's Daisy's morph comp. Daisy for morph. It's a good. Stop saying the word morph. Morph. You say it. No. Say the word morph. I won't. You won't say it. Why won't you say it? Morph. 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 Okay. So here's. <laughs> There's Daisy morphing into the shape of Peter, and um, this is this is the effect. Okay, so this is reshape. It's a pretty. It, look, it seems like a little dated effect, but it it works the same. So basically, you just um, you have the two masks. You have the one of Daisy, and then you have you copy the one from Peter that you rotoscoped. So Peter ate Daisy. So basically, Peter ate Daisy. So you put the two masks on and name them, and then up in the reshape, you pick which mask you want. So you you start with your source, and since this is Daisy, you pick Daisy, and then you pick Peter, and then you keyframe the percent of the morph. And I put it to super fluid so that it it would look the best it could. So it'd be super fluid. Yeah, so it'd be super fluid because it's like a liquidy kind of effect. Not moderately fluid, but super fluid. Super fluid. Well, there's liquid, loose, above average, absolutely normal. Whoa. Normal, below normal, less stiff, stiff. So we want super fluid. Yeah, we don't want it to be stiff, we want it to be super fluid. And to make the, the effect work, you basically, it starts with just like one point, and the points they make for you are awful, and they like go all over the place, but you have to hold alt, let me turn off the mask, you have to hold alt to make a new point, and then when you make one, it'll auto make one on the other mask, exactly where you want it, look at it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty thing. And then, um, you hold shift to make, and click on them to make them easy ease adjustments, but, um, you basically pick one point on the beginning mask, and then the second point is where you want that part of the body to... Um, morph to morph so like we got the forehead to forehead hand to hand butt to butt you know all that good stuff and then you do the same thing for Peter's where's Peter's morph Peter for morph It's a little bit render heavy, but luckily it's only like a second, so it doesn't take that long to render. Hi. Hey. It's auto saving. Hello. Okay, so this is Peter's morph now. So his his is going the opposite direction. So he starts as like this this uh daisy kinda kangaroo looking Peter. And he ends up being the uh, the Peter that we know and love. Mm. So it's it's the opposite. It's keyframed from a hundred to zero percent, and you have to remake the points and everything and try to make them as 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 similar as possible. So this is the Peter, right? He looks kind of like a like a kangaroo, doesn't he? Doesn't he look like a kangaroo? You could say that. And then he transforms back into Peter. <clears throat> I guess I didn't show off the, the ridiculous morph from the other one. But, yeah, so you basically just, um, you have to match the same points that you did in the other one. We rendered out both of these, these beautiful morph comps, the Daisy one and the Peter one, and now I'm going to hide all these extra comps. Um, and then we're gonna bring in those Daisy Daisy and Peter morphs. I rendered them as image sequences. And then you finish the roto of of Peter. Like of the before and after. So we have Peter finishing his action, which I wrote it out with the roto brush. And then we have the beginning one where it's where it's Daisy and then so now it's just one continuous comp. Wee. 
Whoa. 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 And then for the so for the fade, I used a gradient wipe, which is a little bit fancier than just animating the opacity, and it basically um, uses the uh, like the lightness of the other layer to um, to determine the fade, and you can affect the softness and whatnot. So it looks a little cooler, you know. It's no big deal. Daisy just like gets a really big butt and becomes Peter. And then, now the worst is behind you, and you have to throw in the background plate. And I had to match the first shot, which was shot on a different day, so the, the lighting was a little different. See, this day there's um, like high contrast, sun. yeah, lots of sun, high contrast lighting. Yeah, so I just painted all of it out, and then you have to add some shadows. I tried to do them based on the green screen footage, but those didn't turn out so well, so I did it the cheap old-fashioned way where you just copy the layer and put it on the ground and hope it looks good. And it's Plus, really cheap. Yeah, it's really cheap. What's this one? Alright, so this one's Peter, right? It's basically the exact same layer. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> so this one is this main Peter layer that's almost exactly on top of the Peter layer before. And then this one is offset a little bit down so that it would be like his lower shadow. And then he has a little bit of a reflection on this reflective metal material. And if you match the coloring and the shadows, then that's how you sell it. Right, Dan? Yeah. Yeah. It's for sale, so Yeah. Come on down. Come on down. Get your get your animal morph. Buy one, get one half off. Yeah. Yeah. How can you turn that down? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I'm gonna show some more uh, raw footage after this and Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments and I'll I'll get back to you. Um, this is Ben Gill and Danielle Sanchez signing off. Thanks. Peace. Do the face at me as if I was there. Action. Anger yourself, anger your eyes up, anger your head up a little bit. Eyes more open. <laughs> <laughs> Do that, do that again, but like, hold it. Yeah. Eyes more open. There you go, down a little bit. Why are your eyes so squinted? There you go. <laughs> My eyes always do that. <laughs> Alright, look a little more demonic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's good. Ben's line. Take one. This is where I was. Yeah. Give me a happy, sad, happy. Where you go, happy? Yeah. Action. Wanna play? He looked away. Do it again, straight looking. Wanna play? Um. Give me a little bit more. Wanna play? Want to play?